Hi and welcome back to Visit Fowl Coast. We're going to do the walk from pier to pier the other way around this month. I'm going to confuse you. I'm going to confuse matters. So we are going to go central pier to north and then we'll see how, we'll see how discombobulated I end up. <laughs> so join me for a lovely walk along the promenade on a lovely, lovely day in May. And don't forget, make sure if you've not already done it, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications and make sure that you've also signed up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter and then you'll get all the latest interesting information straight into your inbox every week. So come with me and we will go that way and we will see what we can see. You'll remember that back in February, in the cold cold grey months of February we started we started doing a, a regular walk along the promenade from North Pier to Central Pier so that we could record a year on the, the prom so you're covering the same little bit and seeing how how it changes dramatically from one from one month to another throughout the year and all the other ones I've done, so I've done, I've done February, March and April. I've done three already. Name my fingers to count on. I've done three already and I've done all of those from North Pier to Central. But at the moment I am down here at Central Pier. So I thought, right, we'll do this one this way round. We'll be a bit different today. Plus which the sun's not in my eyes either. And I've got, I've got a bit of one of those headaches today, so better, better not to be squinting and then I'll not end up with a, with a migraine and then have to cancel it halfway through. So it's an absolutely gorgeous day. It's Thursday afternoon, Thursday before May Bank holiday. What used to be called, what used to be called Spring Bank the one at the end of the month so the the castle's up the bouncy the bouncy castle it's a good day to be in Blackpool and and trying all the trying all the things because it's not quite as busy there's a lot of people about there's a lot of people about for a Thursday afternoon I think everybody's starting to get ready for everybody's starting to get ready for the uh, long weekend it's been like waiting for buses this week hasn't it it's been one bank holiday after another So I thought for this edition, we'd take a little walk down onto the beach. We're going to have a look at the donkeys. We're going to say hello to the donkeys. Because of course you can't do this in February, can you? So this stuff that I'm just picking my way through at the moment, you'll notice that there's a strand line on the beach at the moment. And that is just straw. It's just straw and seaweed that's been left behind by the tide. And other than that, the beach is completely clean. Look how clean it is, apart from these tissues that somebody's left. Somebody's left them behind. There are loads of bins. There are loads of bins on the promenade on the footpath. Please, if you're going to visit the beach, please pick your litter up when you've done with it and take it with you and put it in the bin. Because otherwise it ends up in this lovely sea, which is not really, it's not really fair, is it? Ends up in this lovely water. In fact, I tell you what, I'll take you to the I'll take you to the water. Um, while the donkeys are turning round and coming back. Oh, it takes you back. It takes you back to being to being this big and coming on holiday. It does. I used to spend all my summers down here on the beach. Lovely, fabulous place for kids. Just look at that. Is that not just lovely? That's the first time we've been down on the, on the water, on the beach in Blackpool since, since winter. I'm not going any near it because I've got my sandals on and I don't want to end up with my feet wet through. <laughs> I could listen to the sea all day. I just think it's such a lovely noise. Breathe deep and fill your lungs.
Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, the donkeys have stopped, so we'll go and see if we can... We'll go and see if we can pin them down and go and say hello to them. So the season in Blackpool is in mighty full swing. So the deck chairs... The deck chairs normally live at the side of this step access here. They're not there at the moment, but it's been quite cool this May. I don't know whether it has where you live, but this May has been a little bit cool. So I'm sure he will be out and back in, back in residence very soon. Um, there's normally the trampolines on this little patch of, of seafront on the, the promenade there for the, for the little kiddies and everything else that you see normally on the on the seafront so we'll go and say hello to the donkeys and then and then uh, we'll go back up onto the footpath got to savour got to savour every day of summer i'm getting mobbed i'm getting mobbed by bobby and coco i think i'm going to try and see if i can get them into my bag I'm going to get him into my bag. Which one wants to come with me? Hmm? Coco seems quite partial. Paddy's, Paddy looks as if Paddy looks as if he's asleep. You're just lovely, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You're really gorgeous. Here comes Sammy. Sammy's coming for a look. And Dolly. Hello, Dolly. Hello. You're lovely, aren't you? Yes, you are. We're going to line up. You're going to line up for a picture. Oh, that's nice. They're all following me round. Aren't they gorgeous? The, you know they say never work with children and animals. And this, this cheeky monkey, this cheeky Charlie is not going to stand and pose, are you? You know you're not. They wanted to go home. They've had an air cut and they're, they're a little bit short-haired. So they want to... They want, they want to go home. I think I'd better get a move on. I'm that busy. I'm that busy chatting the donkeys up. I'd lost sight of the time. I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be somewhere else at just gone three o'clock. I'd better get a move on, aren't I? It's just so lovely. It's that. It's that kind of wander about and just drift aimlessly weather. It's really, really nice, especially, especially when we've had quite poor weather. So it's, it's like, oh, it's like being on holiday. Shame, I missed that seagull then. It just soared across and looked really artistic. Right, let's carry on with our walk along the prom, prom, prom. We're going to the we're going to the top footpath, which is where we're supposed to be. So the the RNLI shop is fluttering its flag, and they're open. They're open for you to pop in and buy your gifts and various different things. It's really warm. I think it's at 15 and a half in the, the thermometer in the car when I got out. Because I thought that's quite unusual. It's just that breeze that's just kind of keeping the temperature down slightly. So Blackpool is coming into its own. Whoa! Swoop and swide. Swoop and swide. I'm inventing words now, listen. So it's difficult to think that only three months ago when we did this walk it was cold, deserted and grey. Look, this is a tissue, this is a bin. I'm going to put the tissue in the bin. Please put your litter in the bin. I sound like one of them service announcements in a lift. But if you look round, it is clean. It is clean, there's very little litter about. And that's because it's not 
overly busy. It's not overly busy and it's when the people come that all the litter starts to accumulate. Look at these waiting for some chips. Say, feed me. Please feed me. These birds that have got white heads and a pitchy patchy back are the juveniles that are starting to molt out into the adult plumage. So they're not some strange and weird species of seagull. And that's the shot that everybody needs to take, isn't it? We'll just, we'll just squeak the angle of view in slightly so that we can get it all in. You never know, eventually I might catch a seagull swooping towards me. So very soon, this will be the site of all the, the big events. And you'll be getting the switch on event and I think that's coming back outside this year so that everybody can everybody can enjoy it and then there's the fireworks and all the other big events that take place on Blackpool seafront and by tomorrow no doubt the comedy carpet will be full of people walking up and down reading it when the bank holiday crowds arrive. It's amazing what a difference the sunshine makes though. How are you diddling? How are you diddling? Spend a cheerful, cheerful hour with an ice cream, just walking up and down reading this. All the catchphrases and jokes of comedians. There you go. If you don't laugh at the jokes, I'll follow you home and shout through the letterbox. Prizes if you know who said that, because I've got no idea. <laughs> No idea at all. And when we came to the Heritage Champerate for the coronation, you couldn't put a finger down on here. For people, it was absolutely packed. Absolutely packed it was. an amazing place isn't it I would love to know what's happening underneath that scaffolding in fact I think I might go and ask him because I'm going to walk up to the pier up to North Pier and then I need to come back that way and come back into into town that sounds like a tram I don't know whether my ears are deceiving me oh they are I think I must be having a bit of a funny turn. It's definitely not a tram. Unless you can see something that I can't. Must have been somebody's brakes.
Now today would be a nice day to get married, wouldn't it? Upstairs in the registry office. And if you've not seen it, we've actually done a video inside the registry office. And it's a lovely building. It's a lovely building. You can get married upstairs with a view of the Blackpool Tower. Points for anybody that knows what's happening underneath that scaffolding. They were taking breeze blocks in when I drove along the pram earlier, so one would suspect that they're rebuilding it underneath there. I'll go and see if I can find out. You don't find anything out unless you ask, do you? This is where you catch your heritage tram tour with the promenade tours. There you go. Tram tour times, they're all online. You can find out all the information online. And then there's special options for special events and things. Ground floor of the old Clifton Hotel is opening. It's opening very soon. And that's going to be a new Oh, goodness me, what's it called? Oh, Turtle Bay. Turtle Bay, that's the one. I can, I can hear you shouting at the, at the screen. Turtle Bay! Just couldn't quite get the word then. It was just, just eluding me, it was. Not like they're knocking about. North Pier has just turned 160 last weekend. It's looking very well on it when you think it's been standing there in all that weather for all that length of time. And then soon the tramway extension will be opening along Talbot Road. You'll be able to catch catch a tram at the Blackpool North Railway Station and, and tram all the way down the prom, either to Fleetwood or Squires Gate. And that, I think, brings us to the end of this month's walk. It's definitely a lot warmer. I've warmed up now, I can tell you. It's definitely a lot warmer. It's lovely and sunny. There's quite a lot of people around for a Thursday afternoon. It's a beautiful day. Have I said that once? I think I might have done. It's a beautiful day. So that concludes our journey from pier to pier. So I hope you've enjoyed that little little walk and don't forget make sure that you're subscribed, <coughs> make sure that you give it a like and of course sign up for your free email newsletter. The link's in the description under the video and until next time we'll see you later. Bye for now.